Hello and welcome back to Fallout 4. Grognak is feeling ready for action. How are you doing, Simon? Where are you? Cut here, boy. Here, boy. Oh, there you Hello. are. Hello. You're in there. Hello, I'm here. You're looking at our comics. I put I found down something. I put down a comic book rack. Okay, here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so with all of our comics on it. Look, it will rotate. It rotates if I transfer out of it. But there you go. Look, there's our comics. See? I was, I was going to read them, but I can't read because I'm a dog. Uh, and also, they're all in black and white to me instead of all these different colours. Dogs don't have uh, full colour vision. They have different vision to, to humans. Um, have you discovered that uh, you can put clothes on me yet? No, I haven't. How do I do that? There's uh, there's some goggles right. and like bandanas and stuff that you can put on me if you uh, ever find any. Right, what do I have at the moment? Let's see. See if you can trade any... Um... How do I get you to equip them? We'll go to uh, apparel. So, oh, apparel. Okay. Yeah. okay. There we are. Red bandana, that's it. Give me <laughs> one of those. Now, press T. Oh. Yeah! Oh, wow. There we go. So, Oh, yeah, I look amazing. All of the previous Fallout that you guys saw us play came was recorded before the game came out, okay? Just so you know. Um, and I kind of had, like, an idea of where I wanted to sort of beeline to. Grog, Grognak, obviously... Oh, my God, you pronounced your name right. I know, I've got, <laughs> I haven't got. I'm going to be practising. He obviously... I've had a lot of complaints about it as well. He had an idea where he was going, which was towards that comic book store and he doesn't know can't remember why but we figured out it was because he in a past life maybe he had like a job interview there or something and the next day he had a bang on his head he woke up in the morning and he thought right i have to go to the office i have to go and star in the in the grog deck film and um that was what was driving him but now yeah. now simon it's like the truth has been revealed he's to ready to go by the way so actually i can just run back there and grab it now so i will do that because that's what we were promising we would do um now, Mark Turpin has uh, given me a tip. He said that if if you've got dog meat, i.e. me, yeah. with you, okay. you can ask me to search for stuff, and if the only lootable thing is a locked box, I will automatically grab the thing from inside the locked container. So Let's try it. You can give it a go. Yeah, but everything has to be looted. So all the bodies have to be looted. All the like filing cabinets, desks have to be looted. The only thing that has to have something in has to be that locked container. Right, so I have to loot every dead mm. body and ghoul and everyone in the whole vicinity. Yeah, and then I will... Um, you, that's outside, you don't have to worry about that. Okay. Uh, um, well, I mean, that's a, that's, a, that's a great little tip, but I have leveled up to level eight. And what I did was I put a point... Uh, well, actually, I, actually, I don't know if I did. Have, well, have a look. Basically, I did that quest that that guy wanted to, to pick up scrap. Do you remember at the quarry? Yeah. The one that you said, forget it, we're not doing it. I went back and did it. I got level. And I realised that the reason that we're not gaining levels, okay, is because we have no intelligence. And intelligence gets oh. affects the number of experience points you get. Right. However, there is a, there's a talent down here in luck. Yeah. Um, called Idiot Savant. You're not stupid, just different. You randomly receive triple XP from each action, and the lower the intelligence, the greater the chance. So we the do need to... The lower intelligence, the better... And you've only got an intelligence of one. So we're skilling that. Yeah. Right, and then we've also got enough to skill the advanced lockpicking, but I'm not going to do it if we can get dog meat to do it instead for us. Oh, my God. But he, he won't be able to pick doors and stuff, though. What? He has to pick this, the display Yeah, text. but, I mean, if you... You know, if there's doors and stuff that you have to get through, you're not going to be able to get through because the dog can't pick a lock. Well, there's this here. Oh, that's, we raided this, this stuff down here. Uh, what is he? Is, do we have to pick up all this crap as well, or is it just uh, just an inventory? Yeah, just loot everything. Just loot everything. Can he only do one? Can he only do one? There's a burnt comic. Can he only do one? Of, or can you get him to do it multiple times in an area? Do you know how it works? Um. We're not sure. Is this an exploit? I think it might be slightly exploitative. Wow, he's got some nice things. Taking all this stuff. Dog meat. Oh, that does look good on you. Now, before uh, we're in the toilets, I've got a couple of stories from things that I've discovered in toilets in Fallout. Okay. There are there are mobs upstairs. I know there are. Yeah, I'm surprised. Um, just an FYI. It's a burnt crocodile comic. No. <laughs> so I found a teddy bear sat on a toilet it's wearing a, a pair of bag. sunglasses and reading a newspaper. Okay. And another time, I, I there was a bathroom. What were and you doing there? There was a dead body in the bath. It was like a skeleton. 
surrounded by mannequins holding machetes. Maybe. Wow. And I realised the skeleton didn't have a head. And I looked around and the, the skull was inside the toilet bowl. There's a lot of that sort of little niche stuff put in. Which do I press here? Container. Think you right. can find any goodies, boy? Okay. Come on, boy. We know where it is. Yeah, yeah. It's over there. Oh, no. He didn't oh. find anything. But he is right. going. Come on. He's going Try right. again. Come on, boy. Oh, he found something. Oh, my God. It's in there, dog meat. Come on. What are you doing, buddy? That's Come on. Hey, boy. Fetch. Think Fetch. You can find something for me? Container. Think you can find any goodies, boy? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I can't, I can't it's, do it, Lewis. I'm confused. <laughs> you can't glitch. Go, take, unlock really the display strong. case. Have you seen, Wait, look, go. there's all that money there on the right. Why haven't you picked up all that money? What, this pre-war money? And right hand, but maybe I, maybe I messed it up. There you go. All right, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to skill this. We're gonna skill oh, it. Oh, shit. We're gonna skill it. I failed you. It's fine, it was a nice, a nice little trick. But I think it didn't work. Grognak maybe he's had to learn. He's book, read a book. It took him a long time to read it, but he's finally figured out I how mean, to advance, how to open advanced locks. You know, if he if he's based on Conan. Oh! oh it's good. Hits cause stagger and targets take bleed damage. Apparently, you can put mods on it by taking it. So how much better is that than what Let's we're using? Look. So what we've got is oh my god, seventy! 70. And we've got Holy 59. shit! The baseball bat we got does 45. Oh, so that's pretty. That's a pretty big upgrade. Uh, I'm going to put it on two, and I'm also going to put stim pack on one because you can actually do that, and that's pretty useful apparently. So Although, what, we, what we should do is we can see what mods we can put on this. Yeah, I am going to. By the way, I am going to end up using a lot of stim packs by accident. Um, so just FYI, that's going to happen. Should oh, I go God. and try it out on these ghouls in this place? Yeah, so, go on. It did look like oh, it quick save though. I did quick save. Okay, yeah. good. Goodman. Uh, Goodman. Goodman. John Goodman. He is actually a Goodman. Is he? He's lost a lot of weight. He's a thin man. He's he a looks thin man. great on it as well. Uh, I don't think there are ghouls up here. There were. There were at least three of them. Yeah, but, but look, all not... the bodies have gone as well since we were last here, haven't they? That's mysterious. Do mobs respawn in this game? Uh, not inside buildings, I don't think. Um... But out in the wilds, so I think they, they, yeah. Okay, so what do you think Grognak's doing now? What's his, what should he be doing? Where should we be going? We need sort of a quest, don't we? Well, now we've retrieved our equipment. What do we do? Are we like a nice man? Do we like save people who are in trouble? Or do we... I was, well, I was going to say that um, if he's based on the Conan character, then he's, in his heart, he's like a thief. And it's not really something you would typically think because he's sort of a big muscular barbarian. I'm being shot at already. <laughs> now, what would Grognak do if he had been shot at? He, he would, would smash their faces. No, no shit would be given. Wow, that guy that guy did not stand much of a chance, did he? Oh, I'm just going to hit him again. What is going on, Grognak? Why did the I, red mist Why did I finish him so bad? Now, can you put uh, armor on top of your armor? Oh, well, we it? tried this before, didn't we? So there's like, you can get these armor pieces. And I don't think, like leather chest pieces, I don't think you can wear it with the costume. No, no you can't. See, it's, it's, a, it's a full... You've still got your light on. Um, just bear that in mind. What does that do? Well, your light? Yeah. Well, people will be able to see you. They'll be like, oh, oh yeah. yeah, there's a big muscular man. <laughs> uh, I can't help it, I'm sorry. I have to, I, I, I can't stand walking around in the dark. So do we have a mission? So, have you okay. found anything fun out in the wilderness that you think Grognak would be interested well, in doing? Grognak, he is a barbarian, he's a thief. He likes collecting uh, gems oh, or gold statues. Oh, we did have to recover statues. that thing, didn't we? Oh, the gold statues, okay, sure. He likes collecting gold statues and gems. He likes, what he likes to do is find like a giant statue of a serpent and then he like uses his sword or axe actually in this case to like get the gems out of the eye sockets because they're two emeralds okay um i don't know if that exists in boston <laughs> anywhere i saw there was a poster for the treasures of um you've been there you've cleared out that place no 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 there was a place called the treasures of jamaica plains do you remember that have you seen that have you seen the posters up 
No. It's like this place. In, it, Do you know in, where Jamaica Plains is? Yeah, it's to the south, but it's, it's, it's pretty spooky down there. Shall we try and head down there? It's spooky, but I think we can handle it. We might need our power armor, though, and that, which is something we don't have. Mm. And because we don't have fusion cores. There's a lot but, of dead bodies around here. I don't know if you really noticed. Is. I've uh, I've been I've been told that if you want to find fusion cores, they can be found quite easily at military checkpoints. Um, right. So maybe we should head around up. Maybe we should head for this place, Federal Ration Stockpile, for in a hunt for a fusion core, and then do a mission there. Yeah. And then if we can get a fusion core, we'll, we'll march south towards the treasures of Jamaica Plains. How about that? So I, I, I guess I quite like the idea of him. You know, just storming into a sort of military base and just just stealing everything that he can get his hands on. Does he plan these raids or does he just go for it? He's not someone to sort of do a lot of recon or, or worry about intel. Maybe he would, you know, talk to... I think you've still got your light on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think he would... Um, maybe he would talk to the locals, see what gossip they've got. Um, oh, so we've got Super Duper Mart here. I am really scared that you're just gonna like run over a mine. <laughs> oh, so it's fine. You can mine. I'll go first. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's Super Duper Mart. Do you remember that from Fallout 3? We could Fallout go shopping. 3? I don't think there's probably much left. I think supermarkets will be the first thing to go in Apocalypse, won't they? Yeah, it'd be the first place I would go to. Yeah. 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 Some Abraxo cleaner. Oh, whoa! Straight ahead. Oh, there. Feral Ghoul. Okay, don't worry. I got this. So, what are my other weapons? I've still got. Oh, I've got my nice machine gun. Just you know. I've got my hunting rifle. Oh yeah. That's but it. Grognak doesn't Here we go. <laughs> they are very quick, aren't they? Those boots? But I'm quicker. Oh, and there goes his arm. He didn't need that. Well, he doesn't get to need it oh, anymore. Oh, he's a bit radioactive. He is. Uh, there's a giant factory over there. Did you see it? What's that? Up there. You see that advert for a donut? donut? Slocum, <laughs> Slocum's Joe. <laughs> Slocum's Joe. Have a nice cup of, a cup of tea and a donut. A cup of Joe. <laughs> oh. Liquors. What is it? The liquor liquor store. Oh, oh. Yeah, some feral ghouls creeping I up. I found us. something. <laughs> oh my god, you you're just gonna own them. In fact, you're gonna really. Oh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Bethesda. <What>? <laughs> Good old Bethesda. Take the duct tape. Take the duct tape. Is duct tape useful? Yeah. Okay. What about a silver table knife and a spatula? Mm. I always collect anything gold and silver, but it doesn't seem to be worth much. And but gold and silver, I yeah. think Conan they always would retain their value, right? They always keep their value. Well, I'm not sure that you know once the world's ended, it's going to be worth that much when water is worth more. You know? It's true, it's true. But you can trade gold and silver. They always, they always inherent, inherently have a, a monetary. They're not, they're not really used. To, well, silver's used for various things, but gold isn't really used for anything. There's a tiny amount of it used in like mobile phones and things, but well, yeah, I mean it's it's a conductor, and it's very malleable, so it's quite useful. Malleable. Yeah, so it can be used instead of copper, essentially. So you know it can be used in wiring and such. So you know That's something bad happened here. He had a mop in his suitcase. Yeah. And a sequin dress. I'm taking that. You think the mop would be bigger than the suitcase? It's like um. It's fold up. It's fold up mop. It's like Mary it's like Poppins a... when she pulls the lampshade out of a bag. <laughs> she pulls a broom oh, out. Oh, check the bus. Check the bus. Oh, the bus? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's usually something. Someone's... No, nothing. Perhaps, apparently that's like a... This looks like a fridge, doesn't it, this chair? What happened to all the rest of the seats in here? The, they're all gone. All got ripped out. What for? That's the first thing that'll happen in the apocalypse. Oh! There's a ghoul over there. <laughs> Did you see that tyre just appear and fall down? No, I didn't. That was really weird. I'm like, sorry about that. Oh, um, God. Keep an eye out. Uh, keep an eye out, okay. Simon. You did see that ghoul back there, didn't you? I did, but I yeah. thought we'd go this way instead, because this is the way I'm west. supposed to go to the Federal We've got to go west, path. yeah. So we're retrieving a 10 millimeter. I think we found a note on someone, didn't we? Stay away from there. Okay, that looks bad. Why, yeah, what's in there? Because uh, there, there's some really, really nails people in there that are bad and will like destroy. Can I see some up there? Oh yeah, look, some raiders. Like, hang on, maybe I could shoot this guy. Can I shoot him in the head? Oh my fucking god! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't expect I that. I didn't expect that either. <laughs> wow, Sips would be proud of oh. you, man. Just took a stim oh. pack for no reason. Kep now I'm swimming in the radioactive water. 
So I, I pull off like an incredible shot and then instantly waste a stim pack and yeah. dive in the water. Okay, what's this? Like a burning tire. Burning tires are a symbol of, Keep of an eye out. great prosperity. So just see what there is to loot. There might be radioactive shit around, so just keep an eye out. Okay, let's, let's have a sneak bird. Jalbert Brothers dispose. Is this like a scrapyard? I'm detected yeah, by, it's a scrap by yard. someone. It, oh, I think it's me, though. I think it's me. Oh, that's oh, no. not me. They're underground. Oh. What? Stop it! I did Stop wasting the stick! I, I did say, I did say this was gonna happen. Rebind it! Re bloody bind it! That's me! Alright. Okay, well, I think everything's dead. I'm gonna rebind it already. Because I'm just gonna keep using it otherwise. Is it F to uh, favourites? Uh, God, I can't. What shall I bind it to? Zero or something? Okay, I'm Something you're not going to accidentally press. All right, fine. Because I am just going to press. I'm so used to having this on one. I better keep that on one. I'll keep the. Where's the shotgun? See, the problem I've had is that if I've got like um, a razor mouse that's got the buttons on the side, I'll accidentally hit one of the buttons. In panic. Yeah. Well, that is quite a silent thing to do. Oh. Uh, so min. Oh, rabid one. Very good one. Thing to do. All right, these mole rats. Getting all the meat and. Uh, Is the meat good? Can I eat it? You can, yeah. I'll cook it up on my fire when I get back to the red rocket. What are we gonna call Grognak's red rocket base? Um. It needs like a campy name, like a. Ooh. A nuka grenade. I don't know what that is. Neither do I. Is it a nuka? Is it like a? It's like a bottle. Well, it does a lot of damage. Look at that. Hey, how's bells? Right, that's twice as much as a normal grenade. Okay, right, I'll... check. Oh god, don't accidentally throw the fucking thing. No, I'll throw okay, it. Okay, check the buildings and the it. um, yeah, that thing. <laughs> oh, oh, hello, and welcome back to Yog's Quest.